Well, good morning to you. Today I'm speaking to you from an empty tube train at Acton Town train station because I am on the way to Heathrow. It is Oktoberfest in München, in Munich, and I am about to go head there. It's not been Oktoberfest for the last two years because of lockdown, so I'm very excited. I'm a bit too excited for, I'd say, 4.15 in the morning. The next station. Let's go. A crisis has struck. I have not given myself enough time for this. I'm supposed to be arriving at the airport in about 10 minutes, which is about, I would say, an hour and 15 minutes before flight takes off. Pretty good for this early in the morning. Just got a notification on my phone that my luggage isn't with me. I'm listening to music, chilling out. Luggage just rolled off the train. <laughs> Luckily, I've got that find my thing, the little air tag, so I can go back two stops. Four in the morning, I really hope I can find it. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. You've got an Apple tag on it, so I assume you probably... I was coming back, that's how I found out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Naughty boy. Well, if that wasn't incredibly stressful, I don't know what is. Still got an hour and 10 minutes until my flight leaves, and I am quite a few stops away from the airport. Next train in three minutes. Let's hope <laughs> this isn't the Oktoberfest content I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's, which way should we go? Oh, let's just head through straight. Thank you. Oh, they wouldn't let Heather check me in because she didn't have my passport. <laughs> All right. There, we did it. We did it. So basically, we ran. That guy helped us out get a ticket. We went to security and they scanned it. I scanned in and went through and went, where's Heather? Turns out he just double printed Heather's. So we had two Heather's. So we had to go all the way back to check-in, have them scan us again, go through security, my boots are hot. Stopped. Flight's boarding. Less than a second to go. Here we are. We've made it, Heather. After a lot of sprinting, <laughs> she just gave me quite a look. We've made it to Zurich Airport, and uh, it's now boarding for Munchen soon. We've gotten there 20 minutes, probably. But we're fine. It's a connecting flight. And so far, for those playing at home, I have never missed a departure. Just a couple connections because of them, not me. So reassuring. <laughs> I'm always close, but I've never missed it. Look how wide the platform is. There's so much space for activities. I love this station. This is just Marion Platz, but I just, I really enjoy it. The plants. The interior design as well. This is kind of wild. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this interior design. It's looking, I'm just, just Look, even the lamps. I, I'm, I'm just so impressed with this. This is a hotel lobby. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow, we've got a little couch. We've got a little overexposed wall. We've got a properly exposed wall. Oh, look, we can climbity climb. Wow, this is actually quite nice. Look at that. There's a yoga mat? a yoga mat? Wow, this place is great. Look at this interior design. Oh, that's a nice view. This is this is quite a lovely little place. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. I'll go for that. Ah, oh, feeling down. I'm hungry. We went for the standard platter at the, uh, this is the place I always like to go when I'm in Munich, the Chinese term in the English regard. We've got standard currywurst, German food, you know, street food, you know. Kaiser Spetzel, oh, Heather's. First, Hofbräu Weisse Beer. Yes, good. that's yeah. good, good. And then for dessert, apple strudel. Heather has just made the standard um, mistake that you make when you're visiting slash living in Germany, which is uh, accidentally getting hot Wasser, spark not hard water, sparkling water, mit Gas. But it's, it's, it's really good sparkling water. I hate it, but it's like the best you can get. I hate it, but it's, it's the best, the worst. Wow, so sparkling. Like your personality. It's my quote from first dates. Wow, the street's so quiet. I've come to where I lived when I was in Munich for a good month and a half. Right up in one of those buildings. Hopefully they're not looking at me point. It's just such a pr pretty area, like so many different colored buildings, almost as if we're in Notting Hill in the UK. Like we got a lovely soft orange pastel pinks and yellows and blues and beautiful different architecture. Like nothing's quite the same. Everything has to have its own unique and style with so many different ornate little textures. 
Very beautiful. What do you what do you, what do you think? Pretty pretty. You think I'm fat for I have them. One fart is for free. No, it's not. Appreciating the art underneath the Angel of Freedom. This is where I took my first ever lederhosen picture. <laughs> it's right next to where I lived. I just really love this area. Yes, Heather, that is a scuba diving moose. What made you think it wasn't a scuba diving moose? I used to run on this all the time. Heather said, why would you put a bridge for pedestrians over the water when there's a path right there? Because why not? Warum nicht, you know? After quite a bit of walking, Heather and I have made it to the Victuellenmarkt, a little farmer's market. It's open every Monday to Saturday here. A place where I got some of my favorite tea in all of the world. There's a very specific green tea called Team Spirit, and it helped me and my flatmates in Chiswick get along whenever we were stressed. Green tea combined with like toasted rice, um, which historically made it last longer, so your tea lasts longer, and it gives it a really nice flavor. Of rice? It's it's not ricey, it's kind of like earthy, so it works well with green tea. This is the one I've been eyeing just because it's called Morgan Sonne, so Morning Sun. But the smell isn't for me, actually. Oh, so I. Where have you found yourself now? Oh, oh. It's like the biggest pair I've ever seen. Lovely macrame pot holders. I know it's a bit raining. What, what do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. Marion Platz. It's absolutely a breathtaking part of uh, Munich. And there's also a station right there. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Wait, what do you think that, what do you think that says? Or Favorite place. <laughs> oh, okay, it is actually. To me, it looks like uh, someone's getting arrested, and that's my favorite place. That's my favorite position. So after a long day of walking, and Heather picking out a really zuzu dirndl, sweet, little cute, very cute dirndl. Uh, we've made it to this lovely little uh, restaurant. I used to pass all the time. I love the aesthetic of it. I just took this photo that I'm really happy with. I have this place in Lael, a little small area in the uh, northeast of Munich. We're gonna get some uh, tasty food, some Bratkartoffeln, one of the first foods I learned to cook when I lived here. And also we got some Augustiner Bräu. Okay, this is our second beer from Munich we are trying. This is the oldest in all of Munich. It's been founded in 1328. Oh my God, I'm so happy and hungry. You look beautiful. Ready for the Wiesen. Right, so we've got to tie up your knot so people know that you're not single. You've got to tie it on the, that side. I have no idea what I'm doing. She knows her Bavarian culture folks. In the right way, it makes way more sense. I used to do my uh, Pizza Hut apron like this, but I always get told off because it looks unkempt. Very cute. Wow, we did it. Let's go to Wiesen. And at last, we've made it to the Wiesen. And it smells amazing, actually. It smells like fall to me, autumn. The, that's, we actually went through a different entrance than we usually do, but I usually do at least. Uh, this is all the way at the one end. You can see the big, 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 big statue in the museum over there. I just made an incredibly rookie error. If you are going to Oktoberfest, never forget, you can't really be, bring a bag. I'm such a backpack lad. So uh, Heather's got one of my lenses oh, dangling in her jacket right now. So it, we're gonna get some nice photos and I've got this one camera around my neck. Which one would you like? Let's see. What do they say? Oh, I know. Oh, my lieber mouse, mein Schatzi. <laughs> Heather, what are you trying to tell me? What? Single. Oh, I think I like uh, for Papa, Daddy. All right, time to put it on your neck. There we go. Oh, wow, they've got a live band. We're in the, the wine tent at the moment. It's just so big and bright and it's beautiful and it's colorful, you know. Wow. Sounds like a football match up in here. All right, time to get some lunch. So, Heather and I have now made it to the uh, Hofbräu München beer tent. We're going to attempt to find a seat. This one's quite a bit busier than the last one. Very happy people. You ready for your food? I'm so ready for 
very expensive, but we've got our half handle. We've got our hacks. Oh, yes. I went for the half handle with the Kartoffeln Salat, the German potato salad. It's just a standard thing to get here. I really love it. And also the Haxe, the Schwein Haxe, which is just amazing. But also a Knödel, if you can even hear. Tasty, tasty. <laughs> Standing on their little things. Yeah, it's like completely different atmosphere. Everyone's standing. Who the fuck is out? Alright, Heather and I have decided to go into the Ferris wheel. Oh, pause it. These are the guys of British beer. Standing by the side of these kids. Arnold Schwarzenegger is just about to appear right there. I don't believe it because it makes no sense why he wouldn't have his own private little area in the top. But some guy just came up to us, spoke to us in German. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's on his bike. Gross. All right, Heather, try your first Kaiser Schmarrn. Is it good? Is it good? Describe it though. It's very pancakey. <laughs> Happy about that sentence? <laughs> I am very bizarrefen. Um, what an amazing day at Oktoberfest. I think we were gonna leave, and then we were like leaving in a pretty good merry state, and uh, then we were like, let's just have one more drink at this little spinning area, where it's like a spinning bar towards the end, and well, one thing led to another. We met loads of different people. I got to speak lots of German. And we met some people from Manchester who are expats who now live in the Netherlands. Uh, it was really, really fun. And, oh God, got so, so drunk, honestly. Oh, my, my brain still hurts from it. The plan today is I just want to get some Weisswurste, some pretzel, some of that delicious sweet mustard, some Zeus Zenf. Wow. What, what does it taste like to you? Not really sure. Yeah. It's almost fishy to me. Oh, it's the uh, rice roast in the morning, little boiled sausages. It's finally stopped raining. We only have uh, a little bit of time. We need to get to the airport. But uh, it's been a really fun time in Munich, Oktoberfest. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> Just as my luck, our flight leaving to Zurich was uh, an hour, no, no, it was like 40 minutes delayed, but we only had a 45 minute layover. So luckily now this flight has been delayed by 10 minutes. So hopefully we don't miss our flight to London. We did it. We got on this flight. Well, we checked in, we're all fine now. One of these days I'm gonna have a good travel trip where there's no stress. One of these days. Goodbye. <laughs> Gosh, I am uh, exhausted. <laughs> I'm finally back home from the visa. And you know what? Oh, I'm ready to take a big old break. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the, the next bit of this week editing my stuff from San Sebastian and from Oktoberfest and some uh, other main channel stuff. <sighs> Really nice. Uh, if you ever get a chance to visit uh, Oktoberfest or Munich at all, I would highly recommend it. It's such a lovely, jovial place. Uh, the festival is so great. It's so lovely. I, I enjoy it so much. Uh, for me, it's also just a really nice place for me to actually speak in German. And I find that uh, 
most Germans, as soon as they find out I can speak enough, allow me to just speak in German and we converse in the language and it's like such a, a happy thing for me. Uh, but I'm now gonna head to bed. Hope you guys have a nice night. If you wanna watch another video of mine, there'll be one on the screen. Pull up my britches. I'll see you guys later. Good night. Be good to that. I'm gonna jump on that. I'm, I'm not a monster. I'm, I'm not actually gonna walk to my house in my boots. I need to get out of this.